Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, the Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I'm going to set my timer. And I've given myself a few sidewalk chalk dots just to give myself the impression of what I want to do. And that is to use some of my favorite colors and do a cell activated enabled swipe. That was the Hot Orchid from Color Art. That was an Arteza, excuse me. Yes, that was an Arteza metallic. I think it's a magenta. Here is some of my color shifting purple flash. Do I want anything else? I kind of do. I kind of want to put some of this turquoise in here. I really want enough color, so I'm thinking I'm going to put some dioxazine purple right in front of that. And then I'm going to take one of these large cards and put a whole bunch, a copious amount. I'm sorry about the reflection. I have a huge storm outside and no more float. There we go. Some of it's coming out now. I also might want some gold, it occurs to me. So cross your fingers. That's color shifting red from Folk Art. Sometimes I'm just going to pour paint and not worry about swiping just because I can. All right, so I'm not trying to go to that corner right now, am I? Maybe I am. I've seen people spread this spread the cell activator with a stick and I'm just not convinced that that's going to make me happy so I don't do it. But I've got enough of it on here and it's a heavy enough layer so it should get me what I want. And I think in this case I'm going to blow into it. might be interested in putting down a little bit of that dioxazine purple and seeing if I can flow some of that paint right down and around. Definitely want more red next time. And I didn't use any of my metallic red anyway, so I think I'm just going to go and grab myself the alternative edge catcher. Try not to put it in the painting yet. And see if I can get this to all go right to that edge. Kind of like that waggly turquoise line there. That's the uh, cobalt blue metallic turquoise from Artist Loft. Called cobalt blue for, for real. And that's going to go right over that edge. That's perfect. I might even be tempted to try and use whatever's on that edge catcher up above. For that, I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula and turn this around. Grab all that paint. And use it up. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not. But I think I'm going to finish this stroke out. I'm going to put a little more white metallic in there. Finish this stroke out with some electric blue from Arteza. That is the amethyst 
from Artist Loft. That is a color shifting turquoise. Let's have a little more amethyst. I really want some more of that turquoise. And hopefully I've spread this far enough so I can get away with what I'm planning. That's some more of the um, Venetian blue. And I have more paint still. And I don't think it's going to hurt anything to put it down there because that will be something to pull through. Now I've got this, which might work perfectly. There, I don't mind that. It's a rainbow trout. No, it's a rainbow fish. It's a rainbow something or other. It looks fishy. To me. So that leaves me with my other plan coming right up. And some ideas from this one, which are put more pink down. <laughs> so let's do... Yeah, okay. I want to do the same thing, but really, I want it to be a lot more blues and purples. And turquoises, too. I might be able to blow into that and bring some colors up. I'm tempted to do that right now before I go any further. There is a little bit of purple in there. There's a little bit of a hard edge, but I'm, I'm not sure what I'll do about that yet. So, now, thinking, I still, I don't really want to ignore the hot orchid completely. And I have some other blue colors that I think I might want to bring in including a metallic turquoise, which is a slightly different color than the one I've got there. I think more color is going to be okay here. I'm looking for the color that is supposed to be... There it is. Got it. That is my Anita's White Metallic. And I just recalled that I was using the Dioxazine Purple and a little bit more of the amethyst. Do I have enough contrast there? No, I don't. So let's go ahead and include the electric blue like I originally intended anyway. I want to tip it that way before I bring it down, but I think it's going to be okay. I hope so. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go half and half. Maybe I'll try do a little trial on the top part. I've got a plug, which is too bad because I just cleaned this out too. I try and clean the threads out. I don't see. I'm just going to pour some paint on there. I didn't put any gold in there. And without the gold, it's just not the same. Not that I want it to be the same on both sides. I'm going to try and go right up there. And take that paint 
off my edge catcher. Add it right in there. And right along that edge. Come back again. I think I want a larger card. And I have it. So I want from here. Around there. It's nice to be able to use the American Flow Troll with the Minwax wood conditioner, sun it kind of copiously. It's got the Amsterdam black because that way I know I'm not really pouring money away. I'm not going to say that worked out that well, but I haven't finished yet either, so I'm not going to decide yet. I am going to grab a smaller card and some of that leftover black. And try and separate the two cards. Come on, let go. Use some of that paint right over, right over the top edge. It begs me to put some more paint in right here. Not before I blow into this area again. That is some thunderstorm we got out there right now. I want this paint to flow over here. And I don't know if I can make it go that way. Yes, I can. But I need to make sure that that paint that flows to, that's flowing paint to paint goes all the way up to where I need it to go. Our meeting. Cool. Kind of like that. I'm thinking just orange and red down here in pink. Hot orchid. Little Arteza magenta pearl. A little real magenta. Maybe, maybe not. It was open a moment ago. Let's see if my tweezers can free up something, like a drop or two at least. I haven't used much of this pink, which is really similar to the Arteza, a little brighter. It's my own mixed with uh, iridescent pearl fine. I am looking for a little bit of red. And a whole bunch of orange. I'm definitely putting too much paint down. That's the sergeant's yellow and Oh, and I've got a nice clean usable edge catcher. I got a lot of <laughs> I got a lot of mess here right now. Highly unusual. I'm gonna use a smaller one just because 
I'm going to use one with a curve on it, in fact. Do I have enough gold there? I think I do. That's not bad. I wish I had more leftovers because I know where I'd put them. But maybe I could do that anyway. I can try. That's all I can do. Kind of hoping I could get the black cell activator to... Activate with a straw. I'm not hating that. That's kind of cool. These cells are amazing over here. Truly. I'm glad the canvas is dry. Because that means I can move that away. That's pretty neat. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me use some of my paint that fell down onto my turntable to fill in. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. Um, I'm thinking that I would like a little bit of white metallic from Anita's right there. I thought about swiping it out with some black, but I don't think I really need that to tell you the truth. I am going to continue with that theme of adding a little bit of what I want. And I got some orange. I'm not going to say this was easy, but this was something that I wanted to try. Since this is definitely my art therapy period, there are no rules. I really kind of want to put some other colors in here, but I think I'm going to wait and do it on something else again another time. I wanted to originally do just one big swipe right up the center. But I wasn't sure how to go about that. And I wasn't sure I was going to like those dots there either, but I do. And they will usually dendrite. which just means feather out. And what else do I want to do to this? Anything? I'm pretty, pretty stoked actually. Put a little bit of gold. I don't think outlining my areas are gonna hurt, is, good, is gonna hurt anything. There. Oh, just stuck my finger in the paint over the edge. That's pretty cool. I could definitely have used some silver maybe instead of the white. I'm still tempted. No rules today. 